So if you've been given a constant function, if fx is equal to c, where c is some number, where c is some constant, so find a derivative using first principles or find a derivative using definition. The procedure remains the same. I have my fx which is a constant. Your, your f, fx is c, your fx plus h will also be c. If you remember, I kept on saying in my other videos also, when you're generating your fx plus h, all the x's in the question, you need to replace by x plus h. Now in this case, there is, there is no x. So if you look at the expression, the expression is only having c. So your c remains a c. So basically this is, this is referring to a horizontal line, which is there on the graph. So your fx is c, your fx plus h also remains c. There's no x over here to be replaced. Apply, write down the formula, limit h tends to 0, fx plus h minus fx over h. This is there. Substitute, your fx plus h is also c and both are c. So the derivative is 0. Remember that derivative gives you the slope of the tangent. So if you have a constant function, basically you are referring to the horizontal line. And obviously the slope of the horizontal line is 0, which is consistent with what we learned in lower classes as well. So derivative gives you the slope of the tangent. If you have a constant function, the slope is 0. Means even though the x increases, there's no increase in y. It simply signifies that.